What's going on everyone? Desi here and uh, back with Black Metal Part 4. Um, so today I got quite a few records here. I'm not sure if we're going to get through them all. Uh, I don't want to make the video too, too long. So, uh, but we'll jump right into it. Um, first we're going to be starting with a band called uh, This Sire. Uh, they're uh, Canadian um, uh, Black Thrash, actually. Um, pretty kind of generic cover there. Nothing too special going on. Um, pretty good stuff. Um, spun it in a while. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got that um, black, black thrash influence. Uh, there's the original uh, inner sleeve. On the other side is uh, just the website, I, I guess. And, yeah, pattern. Um, yeah, man, can't really say too much about them because I, I haven't spun it in a while. Yeah, it was pretty decent. <clears throat> Black vinyl and uh, pretty cool labels there. Kind of matches the album cover. Alright. Um, some Black Death from um, Italy. Um, Blasphemal Fogger. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, with their album um, For Chaos, Obscurity, and uh, Desolation. This is some fucking just sick, straightforward, blasphemous Black Death. Black Death Metal. Fucking love their logo. Fucking awesome. Really nice uh, glossy cover on this. Here's the back. Uh, band members. I uh, can't remember what it was limited to. But it's uh, gatefold here. I'll show you that. That's fucking awesome, I really love that. <clears throat> I don't know if came with any goodies now, just the black paper sleeve. Um, and black vinyl. Uh, with really nice gold labels on there. So yeah, um... Black Death Metal from Italy. Uh, next, uh, going all the way over to uh, Canada. Fuck yeah. Um, with Revenge, um, Blood Attack Revenge. Uh, this is the <clears throat> this is the Die Hard edition. Um, and there's actually an interesting story be behind how I uh, bought it, I guess. Um, I was at a local, um, like, record fair, I guess, in, like, a, my local park. A bunch of record collectors come for the day and sell vinyl. And uh, I go every year. It's actually going to be coming up um, in the next month or so. So maybe I'll do a video um, on that or something as I'm going, looking through the records and what I buy um, this year coming up. But last year, this is what I found. And it was a guy from... Uh, an older fella from Edmonton <clears throat> came down here to Leftbridge and he had a bunch of records and he had a bunch of fucking like awesome awesome stuff um, just crazy shit and uh, this was one of the things he had so I had to pick up this for sure and he told me that um, supposedly um, one of the guys from the band um, Revenge um, sold them this old fellow that's selling the records I bought from sold um, <clears throat> records to him that that were um, like leftover stock I suppose from Revenge <clears throat> and yeah they sold it to the old fella and that's me selling it down here in Leftbridge and so I thought that was kind of cool so it was probably I'm guessing um, James Reed because he, I think he was the one that moved to, moved to Edmonton there. So maybe it was James's leftover stock. So, and yeah, man, that's fucking sweet to know. It was one of them, anyways. So I'm guessing it was James. <clears throat> anyways, so let's get, let's get into it. Uh, this thing's fucking awesome. It comes like, 
I don't know, on a cloth. It's really, it's like a cloth cover. It's really thick, and a and a metal um, pendulum, whatever you want to call it. There, and on the back, it's like in, embossed. If you want to say it, it's really, really, really nice. And uh, I think Sean showed this on his channel. Um, oh yeah, for sure, guys. Account. Booklet. Uh, yeah, pretty fucking awesome. Let's see if there's anything inside here. No. Um, but it did come with some other stuff here. Uh, it came with the sticker and the patch. And little like uh, notes um, that the the old fella that I bought it from put on there saying that uh, how he bought it from probably James and whatnot so that's pretty cool I left that on there and it comes on this night white nice white vinyl all right uh, next uh, Sweden the fucking Bathory uh, Hammerheart classic um, I don't have to really say too much. Oh, fuck. Jesus. I'm going to move this motherfucker. The only reason it's sitting there is because um, in the last video I made, uh, the DSBM video, um, I forgot to tell you guys what I was playing in the back. This was what I was playing. Cry of Silence. Um, fucking awesome, depressive black metal. If you care to know, I just thought I'd fucking throw it in this video because it was from the last video and I forgot to fucking show you guys what I was playing. So there you go. Love the um, the artwork's just amazing on that thing. Anyways, that's uh, Cry Silence and fucking spinning um, Jesus. Uh, Judas Iscariot in the background on cassette today. Okay, um Bathory. There's the cover. There's the back. And just the paper. In it. Oh no, there's a little sheet here. Oh, uh, it's just black. There you go. Oh, Jesus. How many guitars are here? And it comes on this uh, double LP. <clears throat> Take one of them out here for you. Pretty fucking sweet. <clears throat> Alright, uh, next. Uh, fucking Belfagor, um, from, um, Sweden. Uh, or Elm Bondage Goat Zombie. <clears throat> This one came with a little patch and shit here. I'll take it out, I suppose. Yeah, it's just a little fucking cheap patch that's like falling the fuck apart already. Anyways, uh, there's the cover. Felt the shiny, glossy stuff going on. Uh, fucking, um, <laughs> uh, Sex Dictator Lucifer and Shred for shit, Satan is fucking probably my favorite tracks off, off here. <clears throat> Gateful lyrics and whatnot and whatnot. And um, the, the little inner sheet it doesn't even have lyrics or anything. Just a couple pictures. Slip that back. Fuck it, I'll do it later. Okay, it comes on uh, kind of like clear, um, green, I don't know, nuclear sort of color. <clears throat> Pretty good shit. Uh, I like their older shit better, but yeah. Uh, more Belphegor. 
Uh, conjuring, yeah, conjuring the dead. Ooh. Newer shit again. Sorry, though. Old. <clears throat> oh, this is the inner sleeve, into the inner sleeve, and uh, black vinyl. Really nice lady. All right, um, 10 minutes, we'll do a couple more, fuck it, uh, well, we might as well finish fucking another Belphegor, we might as well finish up the Belphegor shit, yeah, um, um, Black Sabbath, the back, and it also is a <clears throat> gatefold. Sweet in the gatefold there. Nothing in the inside, but um, see, this is um, this is uh, something I got recently. Actually, I still haven't put it in. A, oh, it's a picture. It's the, uh, still haven't put it in an anti-static sleeve yet. So there's the picture disc for you on the other side. I'm gonna make a video on all my picture discs. I got a bunch of fucking picture discs to show you, so I'll do all that sh shit together. It'll be a bunch of different genres together, but whatever. It's all picture discs or whatever. So there you go. Um, yeah, I'll do another one. Um, uh, Nagflar, Naglafar, one of the two. Um, is the way it's pronounced, I believe, with their album Harvest. <clears throat> uh, Blake sleeve here. Has the cover. It's got a really nice, like, matte feel, um, kind of feel going on on the cover. There's the gatefold, lyrics, credits. And just the paper uh, inner sleeve where I kept the sticker. <clears throat> and the vinyl comes on a real nice, uh, oh, blood, like, I don't know, red, red, clearish color. Couple more. Um, I kind of showed this a little bit, not really, um, when I was talking about um, what sleeves I use and how I store my vinyls uh, video. This is Anal Blasphemy uh, with their album Profane Fornication. <clears throat> this is some real fucking blasphemous fucking. Raw fucking black metal. <clears throat> it's down. Okay. There's the cover. Just fucking glass misses fuck. Uh, I think it uh one man from Finland, I believe. Probably shouldn't show that to you all actually. Jesus. <laughs> So there's the inside. <laughs> Alright, uh, and nothing in the inside there. Uh, the record here. There's the record, black vinyl. Fucking. The label is fucking sweet. Yeah, man. Ain't no blasphemy. Check it fucking out. Um, yeah, uh, I believe it's pronounced uh, egg. Or hold on here, fuck. A waggis rich, I believe. Um, might have heard of them. They got a few albums out there. 
Um, shit. I'm not going to be able to. Here, let me take it out. German. Project. There's the album title. A nice cover there. There's the back. Perverted taste. <laughs> Uh, just a white paper sleeve here, and it comes on uh, the black vinyl. <clears throat> a Wigus Rich, I believe it's pronounced. German black metal. Um, more German black metal, Varg Sang. <clears throat> Remember, if this is a one piece or a two piece. Not sure. There's the cover. Uh, Throne of the Forgotten. The inside. And the back. Um, it says uh, limited to 500 copies. And um, it's a vinyl only, only release. Supposedly, I'm not sure if um, this was ever released on CD now, but... Uh, when I got it, it was a vinyl, vinyl only release. So that's pretty fucking sweet. Paper inner sleeve here, nothing fancy about it. Um, but the vinyl is here, and it uh, came on a black vinyl. Alright. Um, uh, I'll leave the rest for another one, guys. Um, we're already running like fucking 17 minutes here. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.